Tonight, the Arizona Wildcats pull away with a 35-28 victory over the Nevada Wolves. They've proved to be a hundred streaks in the Thank you. Thank you Go for ahead. watching Wildcast. <laughs> I'm Alexis Oakley. And I'm Michael Hernandez. In anticipation of this week's Democratic and Republican debates, ASUA is hosting debate watch parties to help increase student interest. Students can head down to the cellar this Thursday at 6 p.m. for the Democratic debate. On Saturday, they will hold a Republican watch party at 6 p.m. in Gallagher Theater. Free food and refreshments will be served. And in recent years, student, getting student involvement in school politics has been low. Students cast nearly 5,000 ballots last in last year's ASUA student elections. But in a school of over 46,000, that's only around a 10% turnout. ASUA recently announced the list of candidates who will be up for election this year. Primaries will be held next Tuesday and Wednesday, February 16th and 17th, with the general elections two weeks after. Information about the candidates will be available on the ASUA elections page at elections.arizona.edu. The university is looking to get students engaged in not only the election process, but also their personal and professional growth. This week, the Office of Student Engagement is hosting a series of programs aimed at developing your leadership skills, talking with faculty, and plans for after graduation. A complete list of events is on the office's website, ose.arizona.edu slash events. Have you been participating in local school elections at all? Um, I had a friend last, uh, last year that actually ran mm -hmm. for, um, for elections, and he won, so. Who? Um, Matt? Matt. 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 Well, I can't forget I don't know Matt. Lamb, Lamb. Bash. What did he run for? He ran for the Senate, so he won, and that was exciting. Nice. So I got to help with the campaign a little bit. And so. you were able to vote for him as yes, well? Yes, I did you. vote. So. Gotcha. Yes, get out the vote. It's very important. Last week, the university hosted a sexual assault awareness campaign called I Will, featuring sexual advocacy workshops, performances, and guest speakers. Wildcast reporter Janae Gonzalez covered the campaign and has more. Last week, starting on Monday, February 1st, and ending on Friday, February 5th, student volunteers set up a table in front of the administration building on the mall and recruited U of A students to sign and pledge their support for the I Will campaign. Their ultimate goal is to get all students involved in the conversation of putting an end to rape and sexual assault. Both students and faculty were eager to show their support. The I Will campaign is a student-led initiative here on the campus uh, combating rape culture. So a bunch of student groups, uh, organizations, and campus departments have come together to combat rape culture and recognize it's an issue here on campus and in society in general. So basically throughout the week, we've uh, been wanting to actively educate the UA student body by um, you know, holding events throughout the week. We've had 12 events uh, put on by student groups and organizations, so it's really awesome. Really just trying to educate the student body. We've been, uh, from we've been out in administration from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday, trying to get students to sign our Iowa pledge. We're trying to get up to 3,000 signatures. We're almost there, so that's really cool. Lubasich, along with other co-director Tatum Hammond, adopted the student-led I Will campaign from the University of Michigan and brought it here to the University of Arizona. In just one minute or less, students were able to take the pledge simply by typing in their full name, student email, and agreeing to take the pledge on an iPad. Each individual who took the pledge was awarded with a free wristband and t-shirt. Every campus is different and we realize that for the University of Arizona we need to focus on our specific needs and where we fall short. So our week has just been about raising awareness and getting the word out there and we've been very transparent. That's why all of our language is very clear. You know what the I Will campaign is because the tagline is End Rape Culture. And I think that's really important because it's such a taboo subject and it's all about just starting the conversation. Um, a lot of students don't realize it is an issue so this has been a really good week for everyone because they see um, all of these different people willing to put so much time into it and they recognize how serious it is. The I Will campaign was quite a success for the University of Arizona as they exceeded their goal of 3,000 pledges. The U of A student body is one of many groups that supports the cause of stopping rape violence and creating more awareness on college campuses and around the world. Reporting to you from UATV Channel 3 Wildcast, I'm Janae Gonzalez. 
And joining us now is weather reporter Tara Alfano. Tara, I hope that you had a good Super Bowl Sunday. Did you do anything fun? Michael, I had a great Super Bowl Sunday with friends and really enjoyed that halftime show. As for the weather, you'll be glad to hear that we're back in the 80s with sunny skies all week. We'll be back with a more in-depth forecast after the break. Hi, David Hassel off the hop. Get hop with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial. Getting tired of listening to the same Top 40 songs on your way to school? If you're searching for some new tunes, our sister organization, Camp Radio, is hosting a concert series called Camp Presents, which features local bands from Tucson and the U of A. Wildcast reporter Chris Delgado went to a concert to see who's new on the local scene. Camp Radio, University of Arizona's solely student-ran radio station, has been putting on so far two concerts by the name of Camp Presents. So Camp Presents is really just trying to get the local music scene out to more people because it's very not accessible to the 21 under crowd. So definitely having this all ages space is really great to get the sounds out to people who are younger and maybe enthusiastic about the scene but they don't really have access to it. Now the fact that these students have been putting two of these shows on so far made me wonder how it came about. Um, well, it kind of just started as like a thing that we would kind of like dream about and talk about while we were in the station. Um, it's kind of like, oh, how cool would it be if we put on shows? And then it turned into like, what if we actually hooked up with a venue and got bands? And um, Cecile, our world and jazz music director, knows Ford and Oscar, who run Gary's Place. Um, she used to go to shows here all the time, and she loves it, and she loves them, and she's like, let's do Gary's Place. Like, it's the perfect thing, and it really is the perfect place. So that's kind of how we got connected with Gary's Place. They decided that this venue would kind of be the perfect place to kind of host it. Kind of small, not too many, how should I say... Not too many difficulties to book shows. It's kind of we're pretty easy going here. There's not a lot of litigation that goes behind like booking a show here. So we keep it pretty forward and pretty simple. So they got the bands, they got the venue, and they also have the following as well in fans. I think it's super chill, super underground. Uh, all the people are very open and diverse to things, to different ideas. Um, and I feel like you can just talk to anybody here and it's very welcoming and they're very accepting of who you are as a person. Um, and that's what I really like about it. Camp Student Radio is located here on campus in the Park Student Union between Bagel Talk and Core. You can always come in and try to apply to become a DJ or just come in and have some fun. For more information on Camp Student Radio or Camp Presents, you can visit the website below. Reporting for Wildcast, I'm Chris Delgado. 
Did you know that Arizona is actually the Valentine State? It joined the Union on February 14, 1912. To celebrate Arizona's birthday and history, you can take a trip back in time to see what Tucson used to be like. Soldiers, firing can cannons, candle making, and of course food will all be a part of the experience. It's happening Saturday at the Presidio San Augustin in downtown Tucson from 10 to 3. Admission is $3, and you can find more information at TucsonPresidio.com. Is that something you're interested in going to? Um, I am definitely interested in learning more about the Tucson, his, or the history of Tucson. I'm not from here, I'm from California, right. so I'm, I always like learning about the places I'm in. So. I mean, Valentine's Day is still a week out, so do you have any plans? I'm still deciding. It's up in the air. I might go home and spend, um, spend Valentine's Day with my boyfriend, mm -hmm. so I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm going to be doing. What about you? Do you have plans? I am single and ready to mingle, so... You know, I mean, actually, yesterday I was single and ready to Pringle, and then during at Christmas time, I was ready to jingle with Kris Kringle. So, so the question is, what kind of Pringles, though? Barbecue. It's got to be. It's the sour cream and are onion. You eating barbecue? No. no. No, you can't eat on barbecue. Absolutely the not. The barbecue is classic. Have, classic Lay's barbecue are the are the real chips if you're going barbecue. Sour cream and onion Pringles are the. Sour cream and onion are good. They're the best. I have to say. Well, moving on, it was pretty chilly last week, but with clear skies and temperatures in the 80s, this week is shaping up pretty nicely. Reporter Tara Alfano has your forecast. Tara? This week, Tucson is back to its normal climate as it's going to be in the mid-80s these next couple of afternoons. Today was a sunny one with a high of 81 with a low of 45 degrees. Tomorrow you can also expect a high of 81 degrees following a low of 45. But keep your sunscreen nearby as it's going to be a sunny one. Wednesday's high of 83 degrees will be full of sunshine and 32 degrees for your nighttime low. You can also catch some rays by the pool on Thursday as the high will be 85 and a low of 47 degrees. Friday you might want to get your swimsuits ready because it's expected to be a hot 87 degrees and very sunny with a low of 48. So you can plan on enjoying some beautiful weather these next few days that will carry on to next week as well. Wow, it's really warming up. It's really warming up. It's about up. time, oh, definitely. though. I think it's uh, pool party season's right around the corner, so. It's getting us ready for spring break. That's, yeah. oh, yeah. that's <laughs> what I can say about it. It's my favorite time of the year. Oh, really? Do you have any spring break, break plans? Um, I'm headed to Greece. Oh, so. Greece? Yeah, I'm, what? So I'm excited. Just a tour around. I've always wanted to go, so, so I, thought, why not? I'm, that's on my top ten that's list. That's on my bucket list for sure. Well, I'm going home for spring break, so that puts me to I shame. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fox Sports University has partnered with over 30 colleges across the country to help give real-life marketing challenges for the first year U of A's Eller College of Management participated and worked on a case study for Fox Sports Go. The students were tasked with developing an integrated marketing campaign to promote their Fox Sports Go app. Brennan Smallwood was, a, was at General Benz for the event. Fox Sports came to the University of Arizona on Saturday, February 7th, promoting their Fox Sports to Go app with an event at General Benz on University Boulevard. We caught up with the Fox Sports representative, Molly Spires. So we're here today with, through the Fox Sports University program, and it's a program that started about eight years ago at Fox and aims to bring the real world into the classroom. And so what that means is we bring real world challenges into classrooms across the country. And so University of Arizona students in the fall were challenged to come up with ideas around promoting the, our Fox Sports Go app. The winning team's idea was a watch party on campus with a photo booth and prizes as, as ways to get students excited. And the event had food, fun, and prizes as we watched a nail-biter of a basketball game between our Wildcats and the Washington Huskies, with the Cats pulling ahead for a late 77-72 victory. So, Dr. Ackerley's class was a campaign's class, and so that's what we, we thought, a, a campaign on campus at a school like U of A, who has a, such a strong, you know, so much fun with athletics and college football and basketball and such great programs, we thought it would be you know, focusing on the app with, you know, keeping in mind the college athletics content that's with, uh, available within the app. 
Yeah, it was great. We had a great turnout. We had Cletus here with us today, so everyone got very excited about that. That was, that was fun having Cletus. And, um, you know, got, got a good W in the book, so it was a fun game. Reporting for UATV, I'm Brennan Smallwood. On the way, we'll have a weekend recap in case you missed any of the games, along with a preview of the upcoming baseball season. Don't go away. We'll be right back. I'm Derek Williams, the former U of A Wildcat. You're watching UA TV. Don't change the channel. Hi, it's David Hasselhoff, The Hawk. Get Hawk with UATV. Stay tuned. Don't change the dial. Hello Wildcats and welcome to Wildcats Sports. I'm Danielle Fork. Let's take a look at the highlights from this past weekend in Arizona athletics. Women's tennis competed in Texas, sweeping Houston 7-0, then losing to Rice University 6-1. Shane Austin and Lauren Marker led the team with their close 7-6 win in doubles. Men's basketball had a victorious visit to Washington, bringing home two wins. Ryan Anderson led the Wildcats past Washington State last Wednesday with a career-high 31 points plus 12 rebounds. Then, on Saturday, Anderson led the Wildcats again, this time past Washington with 22 points and 15 rebounds. What a weekend for him. Arizona Swimming and Diving competed at Arizona State. The women's team brought home an easy victory, while the men's team suffered a close loss. Finally, women's basketball had a tough weekend here in McHale, suffering losses to both USC and UCLA. On Friday against USC, Arizona lost 67 to 57. LaBrittany Jones led the Wildcats with 17 points and 10 rebounds, her first double-double of the season. Jones had posted double figures in the last seven games. She carried that intensity into Sunday against UCLA, leading the team again with the help of Melina Washington. However, they still lost 71 to 39. Now, since the weather is warming up outside, let's talk baseball season. Last Thursday, the Pac-12 Conference released its preseason coaches poll, and Arizona was picked to finish ninth in the conference. Wildcat sports reporter Brian Danziger had the chance to hear head coach Jay Johnson and infield Bobby Dalbeck's expectations for the season. The baseball season will be here before you know it. New coach Jay Johnson explains his philosophy and the experience the players will have on this team. And I have a, a different approach to coaching each game, one thing we talk about is each game to us is uh, the Super Bowl. It's, it's 56, or in this case, we have 58 games this year because we're going to Hawaii, 58 different Super Bowls. And so what we do in terms of personnel, both offensively, defensively, pitching-wise, may look different from time to time based on matchups. 
who's playing good, who's hot, who's cold. But I think there's some guys that can do some different things. And what I like about this team is um, we, we laid it out. It's very simple. For the guys that will be here for one year, my goal is that this is their best baseball experience they've ever had in their, their life. And so that they believe that they laid a very solid foundation that we're going to going to build on. And um, they're, I think they're ready to go for that. I, I don't think we'll show up, you know, concerned with who the opponent is or what we got to do or this and that, that, you know, we're going to make it tough on the opposing pitcher to get 27 outs. And when we give it the ball to the first guy, it's his job to take it, do what we ask him to do. And the next guy, give it to him, him be ready to go, support him until it's the next guy's turn and, and try to, you know, maybe turn it on its head a little bit and, until we figure out a, a way that we're going to be as good as we can. The Arizona baseball team is preparing for a new season that is rapidly approaching. Bobby Dahlback explains their expectations for the team as well as his own personal goals. Be more vocal. Um, my biggest thing I've been working on is trying to be approachable, um, you know, for all the you know underclassmen. Because um, I didn't really have that too much my uh, freshman and well, my freshman year last year. I did a little bit, but um, you know, I'm trying to help them as much as I can to you know, makes us all better. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's really good. Even from you know the JC transfers, it's um, you know they're definitely going to contribute. You know, Cesar is a great catcher. Alfonso, um, you know, can swing the bat really well. So um, we got a got a lot of good pieces. From UATV. I'm Brian Dancer. I honestly can't believe that baseball season is already here, so make sure you find some time to soak up the sun at High Corbett Field and support your Wildcats this season. That's all we have for sports. We'll be right back. I'm Derek Williams, the former U of A Wildcat. You're watching UA TV. Don't change the channel. David Hasselhoff, the Hawk, get Hawk with UATV. Stay tuned, don't change the dial. Even though Broncos and Panthers were the official mascots yesterday, between the Puppy Bowl and a few Super Bowl commercials, there was plenty of competition from the dogs. Now, if you couldn't get enough of the dogs yesterday, you're in luck. Dog Days with the Dean happens every other week in Nugent Room 100. Wednesday morning from 10 to 11, you can take a break from the stresses of school and come and cuddle with a pup. I'd love to cuddle with a pup. Me too. Oh. I, have, I have quite a few at home that I... I have one dog at home and its name is Little One and I just can't wait till I get to hug. Her. You need more dogs. I do need more <laughs> dogs. But before we go, UATV would like to say hello to Ellen Dull and the rest of Miss Nichols' first grade class. We have had so much fun taking pictures with your Flat Stanley project. As you can tell, Michael has had a special bond with uh, Flat Stanley. We're buddies now. So we'd like to thank you again, as always, uh, for tuning into Wildcast, you can find all of our past shows on our YouTube channel at UATVCH3. 
find us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram to keep up with you, your UA news during the week. See you next time for another installment of Wildcast. Good night.